Hi friends, so this one's going to be the swipe. I forgot to mention on the last uh, canvas is 8 inch square and I've put down around about 100 milliliters of uh, pillow paint on it and this is the white showing Williams color to go. So we're going to use exactly the same colors in exactly the same order and this one is for you Diane. So we just need to put a nice stripe of gold down first. I love doing my diagonal swipes. They work out usually pretty good. So it's just going to lay more ore down because we love ore. And we're always generous with ore. Okay, next is the turn of Groovy. TLP I can just hear my darling wife coming home so she may pop in in a minute and say hello okay so that was the uh, that was the groovy now it's the Liquitex basics the prism violet Now we're going to put down the Liquitex, the opaque, nice thin little stripe of it. And now next we're going to put down just the little stripe of white, the Amsterdam acrylics. And there's my darling wife, I can hear her. Hi honey. Hi. <laughs> That's my wife, Sean. So we are going to uh, load up my uh, wide spatula, this one here, or spatula paint scraper filling knife. I'm going to load it up with the cell activator rather than pour the cell activator actually on the piece. I prefer to have a bit more control, or try to have a bit more control of how much cell activator is being used and where it's being used. Okay my friends, so we're going to go for the first swipe. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention was I always stop short of the edges here because when we spin her off, those edges are going to come off and I don't see the point in wasting some paint. So, loaded up with this much activator, not a huge amount, just a nice little even amount and in we go for the first swipe. I'm going to go this way. Always remember guys, you must clean your palette knife or swiping tool, whatever you're actually using, you must clean it each time. Oh wow, just going to give the activator a little blow here. And spin around and do the same on the other side. Okay, here we go for the second swipe. Holy, well this one turned out quite well didn't it? I am just going to swipe these edges with my little palette knife just in case it doesn't move everywhere. We still want the edges to come out quite nice. So around about that much on my little filling knife or palette knife. Cleaning the little knife each time. <laughs> See what I mean guys, these beautiful little cells that I've got right here. We're going to have to say goodbye to them because they're not going to stay there while we spin. So I'm just going to quickly do this edge. And hopefully this video isn't going to be too long and bore you guys.
Okay, friends. Holy schmoly. <laughs> I've just got to give you a close-up of this because it is really quite beautiful. Okay, so let's just help the paint over the edge as we always do. Just create that surface tension so the paint travels nicely over the edge and doesn't fly off too much. Look, you see how I said, there's lovely little cells, they're already gone. <laughs> One swipe of my finger and goodbye. Okay, that's the edges nicely wet. This is looking great. Let's give her a spin. As I said, my spinner is really quite terrible. <sighs> See if the other way is any better. Yeah, excellent. Awesome. Oh, looking great. Okay, let's give it another spin. Okay, going to give it one last spin, see if I can get the edges off a little nicer. Not a lot of movement left. I think we're pretty much done here. Okay, so I'm going to hold up and give you a nice close up. Here you go friends. Some of these cells are pretty popping. Excellent. Thank you very much guys for joining me. Please like and subscribe and uh, even share my videos if you like what you see here. And as always, happy pouring. <laughs>